<clears throat> okay, thanks. Uh, the read aloud is next. <clears throat> and again, just a reminder, all the books I have are fiction because when I took the bunch out of the library, um, <clears throat> and again, I looked at the spine, I looked at the front cover, I looked at the inside, just like you do when you browse in the library trying to make a book decision. Um, and I haven't read any of them until I'm reading them with you. <clears throat> so they're all new to me, and hopefully they're new to lots of you as well. This one I picked because it had an interesting name. You know, it's kind of like the name Crafternoon. Oh, I should tell you the story of how Crafternoon came to be. Remind me to tell you that maybe later or tomorrow. <clears throat> I read this book um, title on the spine, and the name of it is Twindergarden. What a funny and cool new word. Kindergarten, you know, twin and kin rhyme, since we're talking about rhyming so much. Twindergarten. So I thought, oh, I bet I, I know this is going to be about twins. And since we have someone in the class, RV, who's um, twin, JV, is in another classroom, I thought, oh, this could be connected to all of us because we know a twin in the class and um, for that person. And some of us know twins outside of, of our classroom. Uh, if you know a twin who's who you know but is not in our class, could you just raise your hand? Okay, okay, some people do know them. They could be grown up people who are twins or they could be um, children who are twins. So let's see what happens in this book. Ready? <clears throat> Twindergarden by Nikki Ehrlich, written by Nikki Ehrlich and illustrated by Zoe Abbott. Twindergarden, can you see the cover there? It's a boy and girl twins. And the twins we know from school um, in our class and our neighbor class are boy twins. Twindergarden. It looks like they're probably going into school. Yeah, and they're, and they're not in second grade. They must be in kindergarten because it says Twindergarten. This is Dax. This is Zoe. Ooh, that's not the name of the illustrator, Zoe. They're in their toy box. I have to tell you about that. They go together like peanut butter and jelly. And they're, he's chasing her, and it looks like in their class, in their home, and she's wearing a tablecloth like a cape. I've done that before. Have you done that? Taking some big piece of fabric or cloth in your house and made it into a cape. On the night before school, the twins had the jitters. Do you know what jitters are? It's like when you're nervous and your body or your stomach kind of shakes and spins a little bit. The just about to start school jitters. So that's what, what the reason was. Tomorrow, they'd be in different classrooms. That's like the twins we know. And they absolutely couldn't imagine what that would feel like. I guess because they're in their house so much, since they're brother and sister, and then being separated, I guess that would make them feel, what do you think? Yeah, yeah. The twins took out the pins and name tags that their teachers had sent them. Oh, before school started. Zoe would be with the awesome alligators. Must be the name in her classroom, like we have hawks. Dax would be with the cool cats. But what they absolutely positively wanted was to be together. Being in different classes will give you the chance to make your own new friends, said their mom. Okay. Zoe wasn't so sure. And Dax absolutely, positively, definitely wasn't so sure. That night, Dax pushed his bed closer to Zoe's. Zoe moved the pillow closer to Dax's and, and took his hand. It was what she always did 
but she knew her brother was worried. That's kindness. The next morning, the twins were up with the sun. I'm up before the sun. It's here, cried Zoe, our first day of school. They're getting ready. Dax is under the covers, and now they're talking. And now they're, they're at their um, breakfast table, it looks like. In front of the school, teachers were holding signs. That's like our first day of school. I wasn't holding the sign, but there was a sign where our line would begin. Dax, the cool cats, Zoe said when she saw that sign. And look, the awesome alligators. Dax smiled. Right away, he felt like he was going to like his teacher. Zoe tried to smile. Uh-oh, something suddenly felt funny in her tummy. We know what that could feel like, right? Discomfort. Dax kissed his parents goodbye and let go of Zoe's hands. Don't worry, he said bravely. I think we're going to have an absolutely positively awesome day. This time, Zoe wasn't so sure. It's like the, their, their feelings and their emotions switched. Mr. Green, oh, they have a man kindergarten teacher in their school. Mr. Green knelt on the ground. Hi, Zoe. It's nice to meet you. You're going to be a you're going to have a great time in my class this year. And there's a sign with the awesome alligators picture. And then Zoe noticed a girl had the same backpack. I like your backpack. Thanks. I'm Sydney. Did you know it has a secret pocket? In the cool cat's room, Dax started to realize kindergarten was cool. He sang about the days of the week in circle time and built his skyscraper with blocks during free play. Oh, lots of people in our class are always showing me towers and tall things they built. They call it free play. We, you remember, we call it choice time. At music time, Dax met a new friend. What's your name? I'm Max. I'm Dax. Oh, do you, you hear that? Max and Dax. Hey, oh, they said, hey, our names rhyme. Rhyming. In art class, Ms. Williams noticed Dax was working hard on something. But across the hall, Zoe was still feeling anxious. She missed Dax more than she thought she would. She didn't want to cry, but she felt like she might. So we, at last, recess. And there were Dax and Zoe back together, like peanut butter and red jelly. They climbed the monkey bars and had a contest to see who could swing high, 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 higher, highest. Recess was the best, but then Mr. Green blew the whistle. And just like that, recess was over. Bye, Dax, said Zoe. Bye, Zoe, said Dax. As they hugged goodbye, Dax slipped something in her pocket. I wonder what that is. Do you have an idea? Listen, whisper somebody nearby and tell them what you're thinking. Do you wish that Dax was in your class, Sydney? Asked Sydney as they walked back to the classroom. I'm going to read that again because I made two mistakes. Do you wish Dax was in your class? Asked Sydney as they walked back to the classroom. Yeah, kind of, said Zoe. But at least he's just across the hall. That's when Zoe remembered the piece of paper in her pocket. Oh, but, oh! It's a heart-shaped paper with Dax. Uh, a picture and his name on one side, and Zoe with her name and a picture on the other. Is that what he was working on in the art class? Nice brother. Oh, man. I like that art idea. Oh, 
something just went into my brain. As Zoe was hanging Dax's picture on the name tree, Sydney walked over. She had the class guinea pig in her hands. That's, that's a, a small um, mammal, small animal. We're going to feed Fluffy. Want to help us? Sure. Maybe, she realized, kindergarten would turn out to be absolutely, positively awesome after all. Oh, and there they are, back together again. Well, I have an opinion about that story. What do you think? Oh, tell someone near you. Twindergarten. I think I might want to have that book for my classroom.